Gartley Pattern, Introduction to Harmonic Patterns. The Gartley Pattern. Now I want to talk uh, briefly about the harmonic rules that define what the Gartley Pattern is all about. It starts with M and W price structures. These are general formations, much like wedges, triangles, Elliott wave counts, and we want to analyze the structural components of each to define the pattern. We utilize the structure as a measurement framework to identify harmonic patterns. Uh, that defines our support and resistance levels in unforeseen ways. Those are the harmonic levels that we're looking at. I would really attribute one of the, the probably the prominent forefathers to all of this is a, a gentleman named Arthur Merrill. In his book, Filtered Waves, back in 1977, he released a categorization of uh, nearly 40 different types of M and W zigzag formations. Some of these are similar to harmonic patterns, uh, but did not attribute any specific ratio measurements or any of the other pattern components that we know that are within harmonic patterns, but certainly his categorization and specification of even being aware of M and W type formations was a breakthrough in technical analysis. So there is a bit of a great Gartley controversy of who Gartley was, what this is about, when did it really go down, and, and why is it so important? The who is H.M. Gartley, and he released his book, Profits in the Stock Market, back in 1935, and it was right around the time R.N. Elliott was releasing a lot of his Elliott Wave writings. So a lot of discussion back then going on of these type of structures. Uh, but the pattern itself was really just one page. And I, I'm about to show you that page here in a second of what Gartley outlined. But the real uh, advancements and application of this Gartley pattern in modern day trading has uh, become popular in the last two decades. Now, it, it is an effective pattern, but it requires specific measurements. And that's really where my differentiation, the work that I've done with harmonic patterns, uh, put forth a lot of rules of ABCD pattern types, specific harmonic ratios that define opportunities, optimize executions, help to identify stop loss parameters, and even help define the entire trading plan in advance. But it depends on these precise measurements to prevent trading mistakes. The key, though, is to understand these M and W price structures may seem the same, but uh, we have to measure them. We have to look at the various aspects because we are then comparing apples and oranges if we're not differentiating. Now, I, I really respect Gartley's book. I think it's one of the most incredible technical analysis books, especially of the time that it was written. I strongly recommend it for any serious uh, technician. But I do want to show that this, uh, this is from, on the left side, his book, which was the actual illustration from the page 222 of his structural uh, strategy here of his Gartley pattern, I suppose. Interesting thing was both of them are after an extended move. And even in the, the buy setup, there wasn't even an M or W formation. In the sell situation, there was a type of a W structure. Pretty interesting. And placing stops right above the prior points, below the prior points. But in my book, Harmonic Trader 98, that's where then I said, no, we've got to have exact measurements, and that is where my differentiation of M and W patterns came in. And we'll look at those rules because the Bar Gartley pattern only has specific measurements to define the best situations, and that starts with a 618 at the B point. That's right at the middle of the, the whole pattern. We need a specific AB equals CD structure, and there's only one pattern, one number at the, the XA retracement, the largest number, that 786 number. The 78.6% retracement is a different type of character than other M&W formations. We also look at the other measurements, the BC projection and the C point. These define what the whole 
uh, formations about. Now this is a bullish Gartley. And again, that B point at a 618 is the only number that sets up with the symmetry and the math for where we're looking for a 786XA reversal. One of the rules that I use is a very tight interpretation where this can be a plus or minus 3%. And that's one of the, the defining rules that I've put forth actually in recent material in the last couple of years where if you want to know if that's going to turn at a 786, that B point better be between 58 and 65% generally. Linking up with an ABCD structure. Something like this. It's the Dow futures on a four-hour chart. That's a pretty clear pattern off of an extreme low. Look at near exact 618. That sets up the A, B, C, D, and all of those numbers right there. Especially on the first test, that reaction, really clear sign that that's some harmonic support. The bullish PRZ, that potential reversal zone, looks like this. We have a minimum ABCD, but the key is looking for that 786 as well. Putting the stop loss under the 1.0, that's the prior low. So the PRZ would look like something like this. The stops all the way down there, we would not, we would adjust our stops and I talk about that in the trade management webinars, check those out. But clearly this initial reaction is the harmonic, valid harmonic initial reaction that we want to see. The bearish structure, again, this is a W formation. Here's X to A, B point again at a 618. The C point cannot exceed A. Can go as low as an 886, but cannot go below A. If it goes below A, it is not a Gartley. And I see a lot of that. It's not a Gartley. It has to be above this A to set up the proper math where we're looking for that ABCD at the 786. Now, here's a great chart. Disney on a weekly. Look at that. On a, on a bearish Gartley. Look at how precise that 618B point is. Really nice W formation. Sets that whole thing up where your potential reversal zone on the weekly nails it. And it's at the 786. That's part of the structure as well is that right after it hits the 786, you need to see that respond. Here's that potential reversal zone. That comes in really tight. And again, think about this, a weekly chart. So remarkable because those numbers come together. Here's the 786. Typically, we'll see a minimum ABCD. That's our minimum. But as soon as that ABCD and the 786 are hit, that sets up and triggers the trade. That's a weekly chart and it nails the whole pattern. Look at the Gartley there again on a weekly going over the course of nearly 18 months. We get clear structures. We just have to measure them properly to get the, the harmonic reaction, the harmonic results that we need. So that bearish Gartley was really nice. But the key for all the Gartley patterns is to look for that B point plus minus 3%. Com that sets up our AB equals CD with that 78.6%. That's 786XA. Look at the BC and also... Notice that BC projection, that complementary measure, the Gartley does not use extreme harmonic measurements. So we're rarely going to see anything above a 1618 in a Gartley, in a true Gartley. And we want to focus on that potential reversal zone. That defines really the action the, the, at that price level of where to execute the trade. But it's going to be right after that 786 is completed. You want to check out more information, visit the website at harmonictrader.com. For Scott Carney, if you have any questions, reach out to us. Be happy to get back to you.